So science is always changing. And one thing I want to add to your exquisite vocabulary hmm, is variant, or more specifically, gene variant. A variant is a new way of saying mutation. So when you get a genetic counseling pro appointment and they tell you that you have this variant, it's another way of saying you have this mutation in your DNA. Also for a heads up, seven up, Pesnotrins deals with a low math. I know, I know, it's scary stuff, but I'm dumb. I'll make it easy. So thank you for understanding. So penetrance is the likelihood or probability that you will show the physical trait or phenotype based on your genetic profile or genotype. Hey guys, for clarification, penetrance is also defined as the proportion of individuals carrying a specific variant that express that associated trait with that variant. This proportion is also what creates this probability that I explained in the video, and it's simpler to think of it in terms of probability. Usually it is sold to you that if you gain a mutation or variant in your DNA, you're going to change or suddenly have a new disease. This is not the case, and our genetics is way more complicated than that. How it usually works is that if you have a gene variant, then you have a probability that this variant will actually affect you. This is what penetrance is, this probability. Let's set up an example. Let's say we have 100 peeps. Why 100 people? Because it makes math easy for a square brain person like me. If all these people have the same gene variant that makes all 100 of these people have magic powers, then it is 100% penetrant. Or this gene variant shows complete penetrance, AKA you have a 100% chance to develop magic powers from this gene variant. Now, let's say with another 100 peeps, they all have a, a, the same gene variant that gives water bending powers, but only 80 people of the 100 actually have the ability to water bend, even though they all have the same gene variant. This, now this is incomplete penetrance, where not everyone is affected by the gene variant or not everyone can water bend, even though they all have the same gene variant. So what does this mean for something like a disease or cancer? Oh, I am so happy you asked. A great example of this is the BRCA1 gene, which is linked to breast cancer, and I know it's a mouthful, but this is by far one of the most commonly screened genes at a genetic counseling appointment. If you have a variant in this BRCA1 gene, then you have a likelihood to develop breast cancer. As such, you have a high, if you have a high penetrance, like 80% for a BRCA1 variant, then you have a high likelihood or probability of getting breast cancer and you should get regular screenings. And the opposite is true when you have a low penetrance, like 1% for a BRCA1 variant, which means you have a low likelihood or probability of getting breast cancer and probably don't need to get as regular screenings. Reminder, penetrance is basically just the probability of experiencing the physical trait or disease, but to the degree or magnitude that this trait or disease affects you, is called expressivity. Example time. Woo. So let's say the variant you have for having brown eyes is 100% penetrant, which means you're guaranteed to have brown eyes if you have this gene variant. Also, shout out to the brown eye crew. Now you and your sibling have this variant, but you have dark brown eyes while your sibling has light brown eyes. Well, this is because you and your sibling are expressing different levels of melanin from this gene variant thus causing different shades of brown eyes, even though both you have the same gene variant. This is expressivity. Same gene variant, same penetrance, but individual variability of expression of the gene variant. Past eye color, expressivity also plays a role for disease where you can be fully penetrant and be guaranteed to show the phenotype or the physical trait of a disease, but because of expressivity, you'll experience a very mild form or can experience a severe form. This is why my bro and I are lactose intolerant, but he dies from any kind of lactose while I just get a little rumbly. Still love you, man, and rip. These two terms are important for describing the relationship for with someone's genetic makeup or genotype and the physical result of that genetic makeup or the phenotype. And this whole process is very complicated and it's affected by your environment, your lifestyle, and other gene variants you have. Everything is connected. Thank you for watching.